all right welcome back to the channel today we're going to be watching star wars revenge of the sith i am very 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 excited for this now before we begin i want to make it very 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 clear that this is not a first time reaction i wish it was i am very familiar with star wars we're just doing a fun star wars rewatch marathon but stick around it's gonna be a fun time we're just gonna be talking about it and having a great time so say hi to bailey in the back right here bailey and Nala. they're just chilling eating bones on the back well not really uh, we got this like Nyla bone or whatever. It's it's an indestructible bone basically, but they fight over it like goddamn vultures. But anyways, I'm very excited to start Revenge of the Sith. This is one of my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite Star Wars movies. And it's a lot of your guys' favorite too, because it's a damn good movie. It's an emotional movie. I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next couple Star Wars movies that we're doing will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. I'm gonna say it every time. Every time I hear the theme, I just think of Peter Griffin humming it. Star Wars Family Guy, it's classic. God, did dude, the way this movie starts off is insane. It's so cinematic. Oh my god, it's a fucking shit show. Lock on to a Martu. Yeah, I really love how they show how intense a space battle is. This is where the fun begins. Yep, I love that line. Had his last conversation with Ahsoka, and then he's off doing this shit. Like, I'm keeping that in mind. And she's on Mandalore right now. We got him, R2. He was the best star pilot <laughs> in the galaxy. <laughs> Move to the right so I can get a clear shot at them. <laughs> get to the command ship, get the chancellor. Bro, I gotta save you. Get out of here, there's nothing more you can do. Never. Not without you, master. Get him, R2. <laughs> that droid didn't stand a chance. Sorry, master. Oh my God, this fucking level on the GameCube, Lego Star Wars, pissed me off. So. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> God, it's out for the smoke. That's like my favorite shot in this entire opening sequence. Of him jumping out. Mm. For some reason, that that's also one of my favorite shots. I don't know why, but it's just like, it's just cinematic. It's just oh, here's Grievous. Here's this slimy rat. No, I love Grievous. I said drop him. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Come in, R2. What that? R2, do you copy? Just sold out R2. Did I say <laughs> he's trying? I didn't say. Mm -hmm. He's trying. <laughs> he's busy. <laughs> Waxed. <sighs> Count Dooku. This time we will do it together. I was about to say that. Yeah, he's learned. And for him, he's a Sith Lord. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sith Lords are our speciality. Are they? I don't know, he kind of wax you guys. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this. Mm-hmm, me too. Dude, it's crazy to think that Dooku's just, he's holding back still. Like, he's not supposed to kill them, you know? He's supposed to get Anakin to tap into that anger. But it's like, I want to see him full power. Because he only fights them <laughs> in the movies. All right, all right, all right. Okay, right there. He was probably going, you know. Wait, 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 guys. Oh, I got mine right here, too. Ooh, wax. God damn it. Good. And he can good. <laughs> now kill him. Kill him. He's like, what are you talking about? I shouldn't. Do it. That was not the move, but hey, after Clone Wars, it really puts in the perspective how much of a dub that is for Anakin. I shouldn't have done that. It's not the Jedi way. You know, I've always wondered, why didn't he just really say what's going on? But it's because Palpatine right there was like force choking him a little bit. So it's like he couldn't speak. Leave him or we'll never make it. Yeah, all right. That's just a cool detail that I've never knew about until like pretty recently. 
<laughs> the droid. Fire the emergency booster engines. We're in a bit of a situation here. Dude. Did I miss something? Yeah, dude, yeah. Imagine being Obi-Wan. You just wake up and you're like, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> how did we end up here? The negotiator. General Kenobi. Yup. Excuse me. You're excused. Anakin Skywalker. I was expecting, expecting somebody with your reputation, reputation to be a little bit older. General and Grievous. You're shorter than I expected. <laughs> Jedi scum. Yeah, that's crazy. Anakin's only 22 in this. I'm older than him. What the fuck? That's so crazy to think about. Your lightsabers will make a fine addition to my collection. And this time you won't escape. R2. <laughs> that shot's sick. And that's crazy how Anakin and Grievous never met each other until now. Like, when I first heard that, I was like, no, that's not true. I was like, immediately I thought, like, no, they definitely met each other in Clone Wars. I, I was so in denial about it. I was like, no, they definitely did. I remember it. And then I went back. And yeah, they never did. It was, that was so mind-blowing. Like, they got close. So that's probably why I thought they did. Dude, I love the droid's expressions. You feel, you feel kind of bad, you know? You lose! <laughs> Soft. Okay, that's kind of hard. Not gonna lie. Can you fly a cruiser like this? You mean do I know how to land what's left of this thing? Yeah. We're gonna find out. <laughs> uh oh. Damn. He wait. He actually said uh oh. Clearly said that. R 2s first words in English. Dude, yeah, he's shocked. <laughs> Another happy landing. Oh, 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 you guys see it? Yeah, yeah. Besides, someone needs to be the poster boy. Mm -hmm. Hold on. This whole, whole operation was your idea. idea. Okay, is it just me, or does he sound exactly like Leonardo DiCaprio in that in that line? I've always thought that. Like his cadence and voice sounds so much like Leo throughout the entire movie, really, but especially in that one line. Do you guys hear it? <gasps> oh. Hell no. Yeah. He's so happy. What's going on? Something wonderful has happened. Yep. Annie. I'm pregnant. Oh. Damn. Oh, boy, Shrek. We're not going to worry about anything right now. Nope. Happiest moment of my life. Oof. The separatist leaders to Mustafa. That's why Anakin gets in the shoes, because of this order right here. Damn, that hurts. I can go early and fix up the baby's room. Oh. <laughs> I know the perfect spot right by the garden. Right by the garden. No, it's because I'm so in love with you. So love has blinded you. Mm. <laughs> no, love has blinded him. Trust me, it has. It definitely has. Damn, what a fucking view. <laughs> that view is nasty. You die in childhood the baby i don't know i won't let this one become real <laughs> i won't let these visions come true master yoda death is a natural part of life mourn them do not miss them do not nah <laughs> look yoda's speaking facts but but like come on train yourself to <sighs> let go it's not that simple you fear to lose Okay, if they were like super old, you know, and it's like, okay, she's just gonna naturally pass away at, the, you know, it's that time. Okay, that's a lot more acceptable. But hell no, losing her like that, no, you can't accept that. But it's just so crazy that it, she's the reason why Anakin dies in the end, which, yeah. That's what makes it so fucking tragic. Okay, one thing I gotta say is just, dude, this movie specifically, I feel like the costume design just. The look of for Anakin and Obi Wan is so perfect. Okay, if you if you go back to this, to the originals, and you okay, you know about Anakin, you're like, what would he look like? This, this is exactly what I I would imagine him looking like. Same for Obi Wan. I don't know why. It's just when I see him, I'm like, yeah, that's Anakin. That's it's perfect. The hair, the costume, everything. And that's why I think Hayden Christensen is perfect like his face i don't know how to explain it but like you just look at his face and you're like yep that's anakin the casting is perfect but we do not grant you the rank of master what what 
That's outrageous. This is outrageous. Mm, I'd be heated it's too. It's unfair. How can you be on the council and not be a master? Take a seat, young Skywalker. Mm -hmm. Like, how would that not feel personal, you know? It's like the jealousy Mace Windu has for Anakin, you know? They don't establish it in the movies, but like in the lore videos I've watched, it's like Mace Windu has a grievance with Anakin because he's jealous. Good relations with the Wookiees, I have. He's tight with the Wookiees. I love that. It's like, yeah, that makes sense. It's never been done in the history of the Jedi. It's insulting. Come yeah. Down. To be on the council at your age, it's never happened before. Mm -hmm. That too. Too close to the Chancellor. The council doesn't like it when he interferes in Jedi affairs. Yeah, if it wasn't for the Chancellor, like they all know that how close you are with him. If it wasn't for him, they probably would have made you master. But Anakin doesn't see it that way. The Chancellor is not a bad man, Obi Wan. <laughs> He befriended me. He's watched out for me ever since I arrived here. Yeah, like you can't blame Anakin. His leader, who has managed to stay in office long after his term has expired. The Senate demanded that he stay longer. Yes, but use your feelings, Anakin. Something is out of place. The council is asking you. Yeah, I see why Anakin wouldn't want to do that. Because, like, yeah, Pal from his perspective, An Palpatine has been a very good friend, you know? The one who's mentoring him. It's like the, like the only father figure in his life. Is he not to destroy the Sith and bring balance to the Force? Prophecy that Miss Reg could have been. Nah, you didn't misread it. You just calculated yourself wrong. You just did your part wrong in erasing him. It's not just because it's the prophecy doesn't mean he's automatically going to do it no matter what. You still got to teach him the right lessons and shit. I mean, yeah, you are teaching him the Jedi code and stuff, but it's like, he's a different case. Dragons didn't let you see that. Make a motion in the Senate where that kind of a request belongs. Damn. Like you did by the lake on Naboo. Mm. No politics, no plotting, no war. Oh, there's George Lucas. My trust in them has been shaken. Why? They undermine me. The Jedi use their power for good. Good is a point of view, and eh? <sighs> Sith, they think inwards only about themselves. Mm. And the Jedi and don't. the Jedi don't. Mmm. Over here, the tragedy of Darth, <laughs> Darth Plagueis the wise. wise. He could even keep the ones, the ones he, he cared about, about from dying. That's exactly what Anakin needs to hear right now. Oh, from for Palpatine. The pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. unnatural. What happened to him? I waxed him. Then his apprentice killed him in his sleep. Ironic. Yeah. He could save others from death. But not himself. But not himself. Damn. So, dude, Ian McDermott's such a good actor. Is it possible to learn this power? Not from a Jedi. <laughs> dude, oh my god. That scene, that scene was great. It's just, that's exactly, that's everything Anakin needed to hear. It's, I mean, Palpatine knows exactly what he's doing. But yeah, Palpatine's obviously the apprentice that killed him and everything. Hey, there's our boy Chewbacca. Dude, that's fucking sick how Chewbacca fought in the Clone Wars. The council will make up its own mind who is to go, <laughs> not the Chancellor. <laughs> I was like, I don't give a fuck what the Chancellor says. Dude, the Wookiees are so badass. It's so sick. I love how they added this war, this little battle in here. You know, I like to think that Yoda's relations with the Wookiees goes way back. Because, you know, you... <laughs> Uh, yeah, the way they're swinging it on here. Like, Yoda's been tight with the Wookiees for so long. I don't know if that's fact, but hey, get inside, get inside. I haven't heard any lore about that, but I like to think it is. Like, Yoda's relations with them goes back, like, hundreds of years. And I apologize. Mm -hmm. I've just been so frustrated with the Council. You are so strong and wise, Anakin, and I am very proud of you. I was just about to say, that look right there, he's like, he's proud. And you have become a far greater Jedi than I could ever hope to be. It will not be long before the council makes you a Jedi master. Damn, Anakin grown so much since the last movie too. Goodbye, old friend. May the force be with you. It's our last interaction before you know. And, and Anakin's grown so much. That's why the Clone Wars are so important because this movie takes a huge leap and you know, you miss so much development. He's worried about you. Look how protective he is. I'm not the Jedi I should be. I want more. Mm hmm. I should, and I know I, I, know I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Yep. Such a hard line. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna die in childbirth, Annie. Mm -hmm. I promise you. No, I promise you. 
oh, yep, he's willing to do anything and the Jedi aren't gonna help him with it. He can only go to Palpatine for help and yep. So he is determined to help to save her before it's too late, like it was too late with his mother. You will be safe, Vader. Safe? <laughs> no, they won't. Not for long. <sighs> Hello there. General Kenobi. <laughs> Dude, you know, you know the balls Obi Wan has to fucking drop down here. <laughs> so easy. I will deal with this Jedi slime myself. It's Jedi slime. After watching this for the first time, I kept calling people slime, and they all got mad. Dude, it's so disrespectful how all his lightsabers are from other Jedi he's killed. It's sick though. There's one. Two. Hey, the clones. Damn, some of them just died right there. You must realize you are doomed. Damn, that shot looks oh, so good. I don't think so. <laughs> Exorcist ass way of getting up there. I sense a plot to destroy the Jedi. Dark side of the force surrounds the Chancellor. Wait, oh damn, those are Death Star plans. <laughs> Just realized that. He has engaged General Grievous. In any hope that Master Kenobi is up to the challenge. He is. More and more, I get the feeling that I'm being excluded from the Council. They know your power will be too strong to control. Mm hmm. Your full potential is so unmatched, like. They're scared of it. A power greater than any Jedi, and you will be able to save your wife from certain death. You're the Sith Lord. Mm -hmm. Kill him right now. Searching for a life greater than that of an ordinary Jedi. Mm -hmm. A life of significance. And feel your anger. It gives you fuck. You say that like it's turning you on, chill. <laughs> kind of is. Power. Save Batman. Mm. Oh, where is it? Yeah. Oh my god, he's finally dead. After Clone Wars, that is so satisfying. He's finally dead. So uncivilized. I think Chancellor Palpatine is a Sith Lord. For your own good, stay out of this affair. That's a good move. A deal of confusion in you, young Skywalker. Mm -hmm. There is much fear that clouds your judgment. But for now, remain here. That's a good move by me. Well, see, okay, here's the thing. It, it's a good move by me to be like, no, you you can't come to this because you're too confused, you're too conflicted. Like I can sense it in you. Yeah, if you're to turn on us in that moment, like we're fucked. Okay, but then again, sending him away, keeping him here, it's just gonna give him time to think about like Padme, make an impulsive decision. That's exactly what it does. So it's like you can't really can't win. If the Jedi destroy me, any chance of saving her will be lost. Not having him there, him being there, whatever, it's like you gotta send them far away. So it's like by the time he gets there, it's already over. And him just sitting there not doing anything is literally it just hurts his heart to yep, see, now he goes. I take it General Grievous has been destroyed then. In the name of the Galactic <laughs> Senate of the Republic, you're under arrest, ah. The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. Not yet. Mm. It's treason, then. Bet. That waxed. It waxed. Oh, okay, dude, I'm so hurt. Okay, honestly, what do you guys think about that? Like, I think... I, th I think it's this tone how easily he killed them, but like, I wish Kit survived a little bit longer. Like, Kit did not deserve to go out like that. He was way better than that. But then again, it's like that scream he did, it's like, it like paralyzed them, whatever. So like, they couldn't react for really, so that's how I got him. I wish Kit had a, a better moment than that, so. <laughs> got your ass. Nah, okay, okay, did Mace actually win this? Or is it like, Palpatine could sense Anakin was coming, so he, he lets him win right here, you know? What, what do you guys think? The Jedi are taking over! Mm. The oppression of the Sith will never return. Yow, yow, 
So conflicted, look at him. I, 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 God, I, I, if I die, Padme dies too. I am going to end this once, once and for, and for all. all. You, you can't. can't. He, he must, must stand trial. trial. He's too dangerous to be left alive. It's not the Jedi, Jedi way. way. He, he must, must live. live. Uh, don't do it, Anakin. Don't do it. Don't do it. I need him. Mm. No. 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 He fucking did it. R.I.P. What have I done? Instant regret. Instantly, you know that was not the move. God damn, look, he had to sit down. Knocked him on his ass. Fulfilling your destiny. The way this part, this part pissed me the fuck off. I know we can discover the secret. I know we can discover the secret, motherfucker, you don't even know it. That pissed me the fuck off. First time ever. You shall be known as Darth Vader. <sighs> That's hard. I can't even lie. That is hard. Thank you, mm. my master. Damn. Oh, Yoda could just feel it in his heart. The disturbance in the Force. One Kenobi is now an enemy of the Republic. Damn. Do not hesitate. <laughs> Show no mercy. Be strong in the <sighs> dark side to save. Just lying to him. Once more, the Sith will rule the galaxy. We shall have... Ah, the way he says peace, dude. And he's like, he's like, wait, before you go, how's my face? Hey, before you go, my face is really warm. Is, is everything okay up here? I don't know. Uh, what, what do you mean? Oh my god, I look like, I look like I have a scrotum for a face! What am I supposed to call myself? Darth Syphilis? All right, all right. I'm going to pause it really quick to say something. Don't worry. I paused it. Okay, so I heard a theory once that was like, okay, Obi-Wan established in episode four, the Force lives within ev within everything, okay? Us muggles here, we will... Obviously, we can't use the force, but it's still it's still inside of us. It still penetrates us, right? Anakin turning to the dark side caused such a ripple in the force that every living sentient being in the entire galaxy felt it. Not just Yoda right there. Every being in the galaxy felt it. Now, they didn't know what it was, but it was just like a moment where you're like, whoa, something feels off. Something feels wrong, you know? It's because the chosen one just turn to the dark side and that was never supposed to happen i don't know that's just a theory i've heard once and like that's such a powerful theory i think like oh my god that gives me chills just thinking about it that oh they shot so hard dude i wish we got to see so much more of him just raiding the jedi temple it's a it's a crime how we didn't get more of that like we didn't get to see anakin actually fighting any of the jedi pissed off and he's not holding back Ooh. Like, we've seen the hologram a little bit, but like, no. Execute order 66. Oh, such a heartbreaking moment, dude. Dude, and then watching Clone Wars, most people have seen the movie first, but... Mm, fuck. Damn, hey, but hey, they thought, they thought they got him. Hell no. Nah. But some reaction channels who do Clone Wars first, then episode three, that's such a big fucking payoff right there. Kaimundi. Dude. The thing that sucks about the Jedi is like they get they all get caught so off guard because this is the last thing they'd expect. Yeah. Especially her, dude. Especially her. Like when the clone troopers raise their weapons right there. Oh, then Yoda can feel that. Yeah. Yoda's heart just sank to his stomach. But like when they raised their weapons, she didn't even look at the clones. She looked around like, where's the enemy? You know, like I don't even see him. Like, cause it's the last thing they'd expect. And then they just gunned her down. And then fucking blow, and then blow right here. God. Damn, I love Master Plo so much. I re-saw this movie for the first time and I saw that was Plo. Dude, I was actually, my heart hurt for a bit because how much I love Master Plo. Like when I realized, oh, that's him. It's like, dude, the rewatchability after Clone Wars is so peak. It hits different. Mm. 
Sai, you fucking thought. You thought you could do that to Yoda. Oh, he's just riding Chewie's shoulder. Um. Damn. Oh, fuck. Master Skywalker, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? <laughs> Not the kids, dude. That's fucking. That's so tragic. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll be all right. And then the Jedi down was just on fire. Like, yeah, Padme is extremely worried. She has no idea what's happening. I'm sorry, sir. It's time for you to leave. And so it is. Yep, it is. I respect that. He's like, okay, got it. I'm out. <laughs> Dude, this kid's a badass. Oh. R.I.P. George Lucas's son. That's wild how George killed off his son. They killed all the Wookiees too. That's so sad. Goodbye, Tarful. Mm. Goodbye, Chewbacca. Oof. I wonder what happened to Tarful. I actually don't know. I'm afraid to know because I don't want to know if he dies. No one could have survived that fall. Only Kenobi. Hush. Not so loud. <laughs> I will not betray the Republic. My loyalties lie with the Chancellor and with you. Bro thinks he's spin right there. I'm going there to end this war. Wait for me until I return. Bro still thinks this is, this is a war. He has no idea. He can't see the bigger picture. How many other Jedi have managed to survive? <laughs> have you guys seen the meme of the, of the shot raider? He will take care of you. Mm-hmm. R2, stay with the ship. That's the last time R2 and Anakin are ever together. <laughs> Wax! Hell yeah, dude, I wish we got a longer montage of that. That'd be sick. But imagine your viceroy, your viceroy gun, right? And you're like, okay, you're expecting Lord Vader, and you're like, wait, that's fucking Anakin Skywalker. That'd be trippy. But he's like, all right, I guess he's on our side now. This Padawan. Oh, he sounds so weird. My lightsaber, he was. Who could have done this? The next cut. Oh, that's such a hard cut. And did it all. Hmm. Oh, there's Jar Jar. <laughs> Damn, he did it. He did it. He fooled us all. So this is how Liberty dies. With thunderous applause. They have, yeah, they don't realize what they're applauding. If into the security recordings you go, only pain will you find. Mm, when you open their notes up. Yeah, look at him. He's grabbing that one by the throat and fucking fighting them all. That shit's... Destroy the Sith. We must. In 20 years. Send me to kill the Emperor. I will not kill Anakin. This Lord Sidious, strong enough, <sighs> you are not. True. That'd be sick, though. But it's the way it has to be. The boy you trained, gone he is. Consumed by Darth Vader. It's no longer Anakin. That'd be sick, though, to see, like, a what if. If Yoda went to Anakin and Obi-Wan went to Palpatine. Palpatine would obviously kill Obi-Wan. It'd be still sick to see. But I think if Yoda went to Mustafar instead... That'd be one hell of a battle, but there's no attachment for Yoda to Anakin. At this point in time, Yoda is waxing Anakin. No, he's not waxing him. It, it would be a pretty solid fight, but Yoda's too strong for Anakin at this point in time right now. He was deceived by a lie. We all were. Palpatine is the Sith Lord we've been looking for. <laughs> I don't believe you. Do you know how hard that would be to accept if you found me? <laughs> Straight denial. You're going to kill him, aren't you? He has become a very great threat. Ah, it's such a hard way to answer that. Anakin is the father, isn't he? Fuck. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, that hits, dude. That hurts. That I'm so sorry hurts. Obi-Wan's just like, yep, he's the father. It's like, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to him. That shot's sick. Damn, and he's crying because he's conflicted. Like, he doesn't, he knows, I think he still knows at this point, like, he shouldn't be doing this, but he's just too far, he's too deep into it now, no going back. He still knows everything he's done so far is wrong, but it's, it's all to save Padme in his mind. Well, Obi Wan's gonna sit in that closet and just mentally prepare for what he has to do. Obi Wan, tell me, tell me, tell me. What things? 
killed younglings. Mm. Obi Wan is trying, trying to turn you against me. All I want oh, is your love. Love, love, love won't save, save, you, save you, Padme. Only my new powers, powers can do that. that. Okay, he's bugging for that. Something more powerful than any Jedi has ever dreamed of, and I'm doing it for you, to protect you. But that's the thing. You would have became more powerful if you stayed a Jedi. I have brought peace to the Republic. I am more powerful than the Chancellor. I, I can overthrow him. Not, not at this point in time, buddy. But and together, eventually, you and I can rule the galaxy. Make things the way we want them to be. No, she does not want that. Mm, look at that delusion in his eyes. I don't want to hear any more about Obi Wan. Don't you turn against me? Mm. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> my heart you're going down a path i can't follow because of all you see them stop oh. stop now come Ooh. back i love you liar oh i love that line you're with him you brought him here to kill me no imagine the betrayal he feels let her go and the music perfect you thunder against me you have done that yourself. Wait, look at Obi-Wan right here. His haircut looks hella weird. You will not take her from me! I do not fear the dark side as you do. I have brought, brought peace, peace, freedom, freedom justice, justice, and, and security, security to my, to my new empire. empire. Your new empire? The Obi-Wan's reaction to that is like, what the fuck are you talking about? Only a Sith deals in absolutes. Which is an absolute. I will do what I must. Mmm, I'll do what I must. We'll try. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, dude, this hurts. Get the fuck out of here. I hear a new apprentice you have, Emperor. Or should I call you Darth Sidious? Bitch. Dude, I love how Yoda's just not afraid at all. Like, Yoda does not give a fuck who he is. Hmm. Yeah, he got him. The lighting was too fast. It was just too fast. You didn't. You didn't expect that. Ooh, that was sick behind the back. A signature move. Hey, right here though. Right here, Anakin went for the same move he got on Dooku on Obi Wan, but Obi Wan knew better, and so it didn't work. It's sick. De that's a cool detail. I have waited a long time for this moment. Same. Not if anything to say about it. it. I have. Oh, bitch. Fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, you just cut him off. Why leave? I love that. Darth Vader will become more powerful than either of us. Faith in your new apprentice misplaced, maybe. As is your faith in the dark side of the force. Okay, I gotta pause it. I gotta pause it really quick to say something. This summarizes Yoda perfectly right here. Like, Sidious is the most powerful Sith. One of the most powerful Sith ever. And Yoda does not give a fuck. This is what I love about Yoda so much. Like, but he's about it. He wants that smoke. There's like the shot of him revealing his sabers. Like, he does not hesitate. And like I said in the last video, is like Yoda, he doesn't fight often, but when he does, he only fights when it's absolutely necessary. And obviously in this case, it's necessary. Palpatine's a worthy adversary for Yoda and everything. He, I love how he's just not intimidated by Palpatine whatsoever. You could just tell by his body language. You could tell by his posture. He does not, he is not afraid. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to get off that off my chest. Oh, oh, oh. A hey, fun fact, watch watch Obi-Wan's hand right there. Watch his hand. Yeah, see that right there? It's Anakin's lightsaber. Deleted scene. Or deleted choreography. Dude, the fact that these scenes are going on simultaneously is, is insane. Ooh, look at that shot. Just look at Yoda's face. Oh, look at that spin around. was sick. Dude, that shot of Anakin where he's like, it's like this kind of, I can't really do it, but that shot is very, very similar to a very famous painting of the fallen angel. I don't know if that was on purpose or just coincidence, but that's insane. Oh. Dude, just the way Anakin's walking right there. He's walking with confidence and ego and aggression. I love it. 
Man, see, Palpatine is not even trying to fight Yoda right here. He's like, he knows the smallest mistake, he'll die. Mm. Mm. See the zoom? Okay, dude, that fucking, that, the nails scratching right there always fucking made me cringe so bad. That's a perfect example of what Yoda taught Luke is there is no try. You either do or do not. In this case, Yoda did not, but no hesitation whatsoever by Yoda. It was an amazing fight, but that was probably the hardest Yoda's ever had to try in a fight in his entire life. It took all of his power right there. Such a sick shot. And that's a real volcano behind them too. Like the cinematography for it. They went they got that from a real volcano. Insidious wasn't even really trying to engage in that fight. He was like he fought him a little bit, but then he was like, yeah, fuck that. And so he just jumped in there and started throwing him shit. But if Sidious doesn't have a chance to run away or throw shit at him like that, like he has to sit there and fight. Then it's like, I don't know, I think Yoda wins. Since Lord Vader is in danger. <laughs> Yeah, see, like that shot right there? That's from a real volcano. <laughs> Let's see, this battle could not be any more intense. Into exile, I must go. Sad to see him. But again, see, this wasn't really engaging, so. And the opera in the background? Ugh. Nasty. Dude, the fact that, like, their, both their lives are in danger. Obi-Wan's trying to just save himself and Anakin's still trying to kill him. But Anakin's like, no, I'm too raw for this. Doesn't even matter. Cause watch this shit. <laughs> My favorite shot. My favorite shot. The it doesn't matter what the environment is. Anakin does not, will not give up. I have failed you, Anakin. Anakin. I, have I have failed, failed you. you. I should have known the Jedi were plotting to take over. Anakin, Chancellor Palpatine is evil! From my point of view, the Jedi are evil! evil. Mm. Well then you are lost! Ah, dude, for some reason, dude, Hayden's delivery on those two lines right there, mmm, they hit. This is the end for you, my master. Giving him that last respect, that's what he thinks he's about to do. <laughs> the fucking bolts! It's over, Anakin! I have the high ground! You underestimate my power. Don't try it. Don't try it. Don't fucking try. Don't try it. <laughs> he thought, bro. He thought he could beat Obi Wan with his own move. The disrespect. You were the chosen one. It was said that you would destroy this. this and not, not join them. them. Bring balance to the force! Not leave it in darkness! I hate you! Mm. You were my brother, Anakin! I loved you! Damn. <laughs> and he's on fire. Damn, he, yeah, he couldn't even launch him, dude. He couldn't even kill him, finish him off. He's just like, I'm just gonna let him die, dude. That's what he thought. <laughs> Is Anakin alright? No. <laughs> How'd they get her on the ship? Did I, like, I doubt C-3PO had picked her up. So I imagine R2 just dragged her into the ship. <sighs> this fool's still alive. Dude, the will to live is insane. He's still alive. Imagine Palpatine's disappointment in seeing him like this. He's like, damn, he's not him. He lost and he lost bad. But then he gets another idea, like, oh, I can just put him in a suit, and then I can control him. Oh, perfect, you know? She's like, no, it actually works out perfectly. <laughs> Damn, now it just feels all grim and depressing. Damn, there he is. He's the Emperor. We don't know why. She has lost the will to live. Damn. We need to operate quickly if we are to save the babies. Babies? <laughs> And the fact that Palpatine gave him no painkillers or anything. He, he's feeling every little needle, every little ounce of pain. Wait, you gotta give him his you gotta give him his glove before you put the mask on. 
he just sees straight red. And the contrast between them, they're both in pain, they're both on the medical bed. Good and evil being born. There's good and evil. I know there's... It's only about 1% left, but there's still some. It seems in your anger, you killed her. She was alive. I felt it. Damn, just saying that shit to piss him off even more. Yeah. Look how happy that makes him. To Tatooine, to his family send him. That seems like such a dumb place to send him, but that's the last place he ever wants to go ever again. Have the protocol droids mind wiped. What? Damn. <laughs> They're like, whoa, 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 time out, time out, time out. Only C3PO's mind got wiped. <laughs> Seeing Jar Jar this sad makes me sad. And the necklace he gave her, she still has it. And you can, and it still looks like she's pregnant, so, so no one knows she had babies. <sighs> what a shot. We're really here now. Sucks they get blown up later. <laughs> Well, that was Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. All right, I'm sorry if I talked a lot during this. Like, I am actually so sorry. It's a good thing this is a rewatch. I'm gonna try to edit this the best that I can so it's not too annoying for you guys, but I, once again, I am so sorry. That was Revenge of the Sith. Okay, one thing I will say that I definitely underestimated about this movie was, okay, so I've seen a, a lot of reaction videos to this movie and they're so fun to watch. It always feels like they cut out so much. So between everything they leave in, feels like they cut out so much in between, but like, no, they really don't. I thought I was gonna have a lot more time to talk in between like every big thing that happens in this movie. I really underestimated the amount of time I had to say stuff. So I didn't, okay, surprisingly, I didn't really get this. I didn't actually get to say as much as I wanted. Shockingly, I know, right? And like, yeah, again, I'm so sorry for talking as much as I did during this. I just really like this movie and I have a lot to say about it. And it's, it's a rewatch, so it's not too important if I talk over stuff. That would be crucial to the plot of the movie because I already know what happens. I already know the entire plot of this movie. I know this movie line by line. So like one thing I forgot to say, shockingly, I forgot something you know as much as i talked but i have a really hot take so here's your hot take of the day some sexy chicken time hot i don't want this to come off pretentious or anything because maybe there's there's something else I don't know of or a story i haven't heard of before but at least everything we've watched for the channel i think anakin's downfall is the most tragic downfall in cinema history it has to be I can't think of another story that's more tragic, more depressing and devastating than Anakin's. Now, the movies may not portray it in the best way possible, but when you understand his arc from full circle, I really think it's one of the most tragic stories I've ever seen. A slave with no hope, he was taken from his mother, then his mother was taken from him, fell into a forbidden love, constantly undermined by the Jedi, they never trusted him, he couldn't trust them, and then when he needed help, they just said to let go. Like, all really Yoda said was like, damn, that's crazy. And so Palpatine being the only person to offer him any guidance or help, of course he's gonna take it. Of course he feels betrayed by everyone. Padme was the only person he had in his life that, that he felt like cared about him. And then just the thought of losing her drove him insane, so of course he's gonna fall to darkness, and then he just, he doesn't just only fall to darkness. What What is so tragic is that he is the reason why he loses her in the first place. Like, she wouldn't have died, and that's where it's just, it's just because he got so lost and with no one there to guide him. That's why Qui-Gon being here was so crucial at everything. That's why him dying changed everything. Qui-Gon would have led him in the right path 10 out of 10 times. And then once he became Darth Vader, he didn't, it didn't stop there. He lost his wife. He lost it, all of his friends. He wiped out the entire order that trained him. He lost his children because like at this point, he thinks his children are dead because Padme died. He lost his body, became trapped in a suit, that was made for him to suffer constantly, to just feel his hatred and further his strength in the dark side. 
and you can't rebel against Sidious because you can just electrocute his ass, you're done, you're toast, literally. He's basically a slave again to Palpatine and everything he wants him to do, he has no choice. But then what makes this arc even better is that later on in Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, he meets his son again, he meets his daughter, and that was enough to pull Anakin back. Now, okay, I won't get into all that right now, but that's why I saved Return of the Jedi for last. So now we can get into all that next. It's just so sad because if he didn't try to like, quote unquote, save Padme, she would have lived. And that's what makes it so tragic. And then when Obi-Wan says, I failed you, I failed you, it's like that just hits so, that's so hard. Because Obi-Wan tried to be there for him, but it's just the Jedi code was just wasn't what Anakin needed it so and that's why the Clone Wars is so much more important too because he gets so much more character development within Clone Wars as well I know I've said that a million times by now but it really helps elaborate on his character development a lot but yeah that's why I think Anakin has the most tragic character arc in cinema there might be a story out there that tops this one if there is I just don't know about it so let me know if you think there's a better story than this. This movie has a very, very fast pace. Like some, like something would happen. I'm like, okay, cool. I know what I want to say for that. So I start saying it. I'm like, wait, we're already on to the next thing. Like that then like literally like 20 seconds later, the next thing already happens. And I'm like, wait, shit. I'm going to try to edit this. I'm gonna try to edit this video the best that I can to where it's not annoying for you guys. So don't worry, I'm gonna I'm gonna let the scenes play out when I'm editing this. Well, it doesn't matter. You well by the time you get to this outro, you've already seen the fucking the fucking video. So hits so differently after Clone Wars now. God damn. I saw this movie in theaters when I was five. Then I watched it a bunch of times after that. And then the Clone Wars became a thing, and I was like, oh, let's go as a kid. Then I saw the movie, then I saw a TV show play out week by week on Cartoon Network. Like I would be so excited for a new episode every single time and the clone wars just adds so much more weight to this movie dude seeing palpatine give the order for order 66 now after seeing clone wars it's just like that was the plan the entire time i wish i could just wipe my memory of star wars completely and just rewatch it from chronological order just to get that whole new perspective that would be such a journey okay after watching every single prequel movie over again Here's the thing. I can recognize the flaws in them. Like, I, I see them. I thought, like, I recognize them as we were watching them. I didn't point them out because that's not... It, I just feel like it wasn't really necessary. I could see why people heavily criticize these movies when they first came out. Does it bother me? No, not at all. Because what matters is the prequels, despite their flaws, they still have a very, very fundamentally sound story that's being told. And like, honestly, that's kind of all that matters. The execution may not be the greatest. At the end of the day, the story that's being told is still a very, very nice story. So it's like, who cares about all the flaws, honestly? Personally, they don't bother me at all. Like, this, okay, this is how I kind of see the sequels too. The sequels, I think, have the opposite problem of the prequels. The sequels did everything great that the sequels didn't do great and i think that the prequels did great what the sequels didn't do great if they have the opposite problems which is kind of crazy the sequels the acting never bothered me once i thought the acting was pretty solid like it never took me out i'm not saying the prequels did but i'm like i could definitely recognize some parts where i'm like oh yeah and then but the sequels they just didn't really have a story going you know this but the prequels definitely did so like that's the difference between them and then the originals do both really well but okay anyways where does this movie fall into my star wars rankings so far i've only i'm only revealing the movies that we've done so far and so they go like this now shocker number one is revenge of the sith as a movie as a film i don't think it's the best movie in the franchise just as a pure film but as a story, the emotional weight this movie has, I think it, it has to be number one. Okay, and then number two is Empire Strikes Back. We've already established that. Number three, we haven't gone to number three yet, okay? I mean, there's only two movies left. I mean, I won't, besides the sequels, I'm not counting the sequels on this ranking just yet. Number four is A New Hope. Now, I've said many times, A New Hope, you could arguably have at three or four. So three or four for now, but for now it's at four. Number five, The Phantom Menace. And then number six, Attack of the Clones. And then I have an honorable mention at seven, which we haven't gone to yet, though. We haven't gone to that one yet. So I will, I will reveal that one when we get to it. But yeah, those are my rankings so far as of right now. Now, I 
I would say as a pure film, Empire Strikes Back is definitely better than Revenge of the Sith. Empire Strikes Back definitely has the emotional weight factor into it, but it's it's not even close to Revenge of the Sith. It's not even close. For me personally, as just a fan for pure enjoyment, Revenge of the Sith is definitely number one. But yeah, now we're going to circle back to Return of the Jedi. We're going to get to that one now because I can't end this marathon on this movie. This movie is too emotionally devastating to end this marathon on. I have to get to Reve uh, Return of the Jedi now so we can have a happy ending. And then actually I'm going to do Rogue One as well. And then let me know if you guys want me to do the sequels as well. I'm down to do them, but I'm not sure how you guys feel about it. I know I know the sequels aren't very well received, but I'm down to do them if you guys want me to. So please just let me know. But yeah, I'm going to stop wasting time. I could yap forever about this about this movie. So comment down below what you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you like the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.